how to create a Wix e-commerce store for beginners. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your e-commerce store using Wix. And the best part is that Wix is available for free. You can choose any one of these thousands of designs and start creating and promoting and selling your own products using Wix. And you don't have to pay for any web hosting. You don't have to pay for any web domains. You don't have to do any of that. Wix has simplified it all for you. So first off, you're just going to click on create your store over here on the Wix.com platform. And then you're going to sign up or log into Wix. So you can sign up using Facebook, Google, or Apple, or you can sign up using your email as well. I already have a Wix account, so I'm just going to log in. And you can see that once you have logged in, this is going to be your basic dashboard. Now over here, you can see I have created a couple of websites, but just to give over all of you, this is going to be your account settings. And within your account settings, you're going to be able to view your domains, your business emails, vouchers, billing history, subscriptions, and payment methods. So if you're purchasing anything from Wix, you can view that over here and to get started on building your e-commerce platform you're just going to click on create new site over here and this is going to open up a new tab where you're going to get started on the wix website editor now wix has two basic ways that you build your website now first you're going to answer a question so you're going to make a online store you're going to answer that you're going to click on next and then you're going to add what kind of store are you looking to create so that is going to help you in narrowing down the templates for your online store so let's just say that we are doing accessories and i'm going to look for accessories now i can't find that so i'm i'm looking to run a online accessory store and i'm just going to click on next now, after that, there are two things you can do. Now, either you can create your website with the template editor or you can just go with the ADI. Now, what the ADI does is that the ADI is going to ask you a couple of questions. Once you answer those questions, then it is going to give you a basic web design for your website and then you can start customizing it. Now, you can go with either of these routes. I personally prefer editing a template because their templates are already very good and editing them allows me the customization that I want. While the ADI method is also very simple and easy and if you're just looking to get this over with to get your business started and to get your stuff on the e-commerce network and start selling it online then you can definitely opt for the adi so we're just going to edit a template and now we're going to browse the templates that are available for e-commerce stores so you can see that there are many templates for the e-commerce section of only for online accessory stores there are 33 pages worth of templates available so just take a quick browse at all of the different templates and pick one that you like so i'm just going to go on to the second page see what different kinds of options i have and let's see let's keep on looking for more templates all of these are pretty good all of these are pretty similar as well so I'm looking for something that pops up a bit and here it is. I found it. So this looks like a very pretty cute template. So I'm just going to click on edit over here and you can view a template before you start editing as well. If you want to take a good look at all of the pages for that template. Now, once you click on edit template, Wix is going to load up their website editor and this might take a couple of seconds. Mostly it takes me up to a minute sometimes if Wix is running slow to load templates, but it might just take a couple of seconds for you to load up this website editor. Now, once your template has loaded, this is going to be the basic interface. So on your left, you're going to find all of your tools to edit the website. And on the top right, you're going to see your saving, publishing and preview settings. Now, if you take a look at your website, now this is a basic template and you can start editing. Now, the first thing you're going to do is edit the name. So you're just going to click on the name and then you can edit the text. So I'm doing accessories. So let's just say we're doing Clover Jewels. So we're going to go with that. And you can obviously edit the style as well. I like the template styles usually because they are the best fits for the overall aesthetic. But you can change them as well. And if you have a logo, you can upload it as well. And you can change the vector art in this as well. So I'm just going to click on change vector art over here. And this is going to load up some more media options for me so you can either upload media yourself you can choose media from wix as well so let's take a look at the different vector art that is available 
and I'm just gonna search for a clover and there are a lot of options on Wix but if you're not able to find something that you like you can always go on to Vecteezy or any other royalty free image site and get your images from there and then copy them and upload them over onto Wix. Now once you have edited this first section you're gonna edit your own website. Now everyone understands the basic of website editing so you're gonna just edit these out make this into jewelry so it's, this is gonna say shop now or you can say new arrivals like this new arrivals like this then you're going to edit the images as well i just deleted a section in the mid now what are you going to do if you delete a section well you're just going to take your cursor over onto this blue line of section that is present below you're going to scroll it up over here like so just scroll it and now you can reposition your different sections like this. And now once you have a basic home page, you're gonna create your shop now page. So for that, you're gonna click on the top left over here and you can see there, there are a lot of pages on this already, but you can browse your pages and see what you want to edit. After you have taken a good look at all of the different pages you have, you're just gonna click on add over here and below add, you have your pages. So you're gonna go over there and you're gonna click on main pages and then on your main pages, you can see there are many different um, pages available. I'm going to delete all of these extra pages for store policy and FAQ. So I'm just going to keep it simple with a basic home page and a shop page. And within the shop page, I'm just going to remove professional art and I'm going to rename it and change it into jewelry stuff. So I'm going to edit that over here. I'm going to click on rename. And I'm going to name this as jewelry stuff, as clover band. And then on the second section, I'm going to add clover necklaces. So like this. So I'm going to save this. And now you can see I have a basic page and I can add more pages if I want to add a blank page and I can name it maybe a contact us page or a social media page. You can add those here as well. Now, once you have designed your website, you might be wondering, okay, I have my website, but how do I add my products and how do I actually manage my e-commerce section? Well, once you have designed your website, you're just going to click on publish and then you're going to add your domain name. So we're going to do Clover Jewels and you're going to click on save and continue. Once you have actually published your website and your website is live, you can actually go into your My Site section onto your actual Wix account. So I'm going to go back into my Wix account and I'm going to go into my My Sites. And from that, you're going to reach the website dashboard where you're actually going to add your products and manage your catalogs, profits, analysis, and all of that. So you can see over here, I have a select and edit site. And if I click on select and edit site, this is going to lead me to the dashboard of this website. And from the dashboard, I'm actually going to start and add my product. So opening up the Wix dashboard over here. Now you can see over here that on your dashboard, you're going to see on your left, you have store products, you have store orders, gift cards, contacts, communication, CRM tools, marketing, and SEO. So if you want to add your products, you're just going to go into your store product section. And then you can see on your products over here, and this is going to list all of the products that you have in your inventory. You can manage your products as well. So you can see how much stock you have left. Then you have back in stock requests as well. And then you have find products to sell where you can find different products on dropshipping applications like AliExpress to see what more products you can sell. So you can see I have a couple of products on this basic template to add a new product. You can just click on new product at the top right over here. Then you can add a digital file or a physical file. So if this is a digital product, you're going to add a digital file and if this is a physical one you're going to select physical and let's just add that this is a physical product you're going to add that and then you can add images and your basic product information so you're just going to click on add image over here and i'm going to add a image for my product and i'm going to click on upload media now i'm going to upload from my computer and now i'm just going to go on to the download section and i'm going to upload this image and once this image has been uploaded i'm going to select this and i'm going to click on add to page and now i'm going to add my product info so this is a necklace i'm going to add hollow clover necklace and after that i can add a ribbon so my ribbon could be new arrival and then i'm going to add a product description i'm just going to 
add nothing and then i'm going to add the price of my product now you're going to add any price you want so you can make it on sale as well and add a sale price and you can add a show price per unit as well so i'm just going to skip that and once you have all of your basic product information added you're just going to add what collections you want this to be in and then you're going to click on save and just like that my new product has been added so i'm just going to open up my website and show you guys how my product looks on the actual website when you list product how are they actually going to appear on your website so i'm just going to open this up now you can see over here that my product has been added onto the shop section of my website it's for 31 and it has the new arrival band on the top and this is how easy it is to start up your own e-commerce store using wix and it's free to use as well you don't have to pay for anything to get started and you have a simple and easy setup to work with so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own e-commerce store using wix make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video